good morning from the Alton Towers Resort where it's a lovely sunny day, it's nice and hot. So we thought we'd come up here to Alton Towers and film a full park vlog for you all today. So it's the school holidays now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go round the park and show you any updates that there is. We'll have a look at the queue times, share some top tips if you're visiting over the summer and so much more. So come and join us here at the Alton Towers Resort. Oh, what a lovely day to be here on Tower Street, looking out over the park. Always one of our favourite views, just standing here at the top, looking down, seeing the frog fountains and the iconic Towers ruins down there at the bottom as well. Beautiful. All the decor still up as well for the CBeebies Land's 10-year celebration. Can't believe it's been 10 years since CBeebies opened. Um, yeah, they've got all sorts of special entertainment going on on the lawns. This actually started back in May half term, stopped for a little bit, and now has come back for the summer holidays. So if you are coming here over the next few weeks throughout August, uh, then of course you've got the CBeebies celebration that's still ongoing here. And down here at the bottom of Tower Street, you got the big cake for the 10 year celebration here as well. And all the decorations. So you've got the stage set up down there on the lawn. You've actually got some additional food options just off to the side there as well. Some games, some seating. Yeah, it's quite a nice area for families if you are coming over summer celebrating 10 years of CBeebies Line. Then yeah, they've got all sorts of different shows and things going on with different performers from the TV channel. CBeebies House Party Live, 11.30 one and three today just down here and yeah justin fletcher's here and yeah they're doing quite a few different things depending on the day i will start off down here at spinball wizards so having a little look at the queue times bring you those updates Beautiful day for it today. Now you think, oh, it's summer holidays, you know, park's busy. What time is it open till Charlotte? Five o'clock today. Five, Five o'clock. Five o'clock in the summer holidays. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's very early, isn't it, that? that? It's really early for summer holidays. I don't know why it's showing at five o'clock. Now it's not five every day during the summer holidays. It's just been some days near the start. Um, but still, like, I'm quite surprised. I, I can't remember the last time when Alton Towers closed at five in the summer holidays. I mean, it's quite busy. I mean, Spinball Wizard just here on 50 minutes. Makes me think, is it possibly staffing issues? I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, 5 p.m. close at the moment, even on such a lovely day like this. Beautiful day for walking around the park and just getting some shots and updates for you all. Spinball Wizard. This coaster turned 20 years old earlier this year, opened in 2004. Mara Spinner. 50. It's a good ride, I don't think it's worth a 50 minute queue, but still, it is a good fun family coaster. Sending empties now, looks like it's gone down. Down here, then now into X Sector. Beautiful blue skies. But now action with the smiler this morning. Yeah, we're about an hour into the day. And it looks like it's not opened all day so far, which is quite interesting. Obviously we've not been here for a few weeks with us heading over to Italy, but we still notice uh, on the app where we've been looking whilst we're away that uh, you know a lot of the rides still haven't been opening on time on a morning. I'm not too sure what the issue is, but at the moment it just feels like you know a lot of rides just don't open at the start of the day. Maintenance are down there though, so I don't know. Yeah, it has got the dummies in. Yeah, it just seems like the park are having issues at getting things open at the start of the day at the moment. You know, hopefully they can get that sorted out. Yeah, the smiler, nothing at all this morning. Yeah, looking at the bottom of the vertical lift hill. You hear the screams from oblivion though. And with the smiler being closed, it's resulted in oblivion being really busy this morning. 50 minute advertised wait for this vertical drop roller coaster. I tell you what though, I bet it's nice and refreshing on such a hot day, just going down into the mist there. The mist has actually redone for this year at the bottom and they do look fantastic. Here she comes. A 
And we did mention in a vlog earlier in the year that they're putting some new temporary food outlets down here at the bottom of X Sector. Yeah, these have been doing really well. Obviously, they're not that busy at the moment um, because it's not lunchtime yet. Um, but still, you've got four different units down there. And uh, yeah, you got burgers, hot dogs, you got a bar down there. There's somewhere that does pizza as well. And uh, yeah, it's just been nice to have some more options in this area of the park just down there at the bottom. Obviously, ideally, a couple more flat rides would be nice down here in the future, uh, but still, it does look better um, than just having nothing down there, or the retro squad uh, that we had before. You know, I just think they, at least they fit in uh, a lot better, the buildings, but ideally, of course, a nice permanent flat ride is uh, needed down there. Just strolling out of excess, it doesn't feel too busy down there. Like I say, the only reason why Oblivion's got that queue is because the smile is closed. Yeah, we'll pop back later on and see if it uh, opens up. Now, of course, it is the 1st of August when we're filming this today, and we still haven't had the big Scarefest announcement yet. However, we can uh, guess just here by the return of these speakers, uh, the fact that Altonville Mine Tours, Tiny's Revenge, is going to be coming back for Scarefest this year. But as we did mention a couple of weeks ago, we know for sure there's definitely going to be lots of new things to look forward to this year. It is much needed. Like, Scarefest has gone so stale these past <laughs> few years. Just to have some new, refreshing stuff is going to be so much better. I'm really excited, actually, for the lineup this year I'm to be announced. Wait for them to announce it, hopefully it's soon. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. We have got some new gates on wow. just here though. They're quite yeah. nice actually. Yeah, just uh, so obviously this is part of the queue line that leads up for uh, Altonville Mine Tours. Yeah, Spinball not loaded with people. The Smiler closed, not a great start, is it? And obviously Wicker Man is still closed at the moment as well, as we'll uh, have a look at when we uh, get down there after the uh, small fire that happened last week. Oh, it's lovely just strolling around today and you always get a good idea on crowd levels like in this core part of the park just out the front of the towers because uh, a lot of the main pathways all connect together here you get an idea on uh, how busy it is it doesn't look like it's that busy at all today but it's one of them like you're wondering why like it's a summer holiday and it's august it's lovely weather but the park doesn't seem that busy normally like the first week of the summer holidays isn't as busy as you'd expect because a lot of people use that time to go on holiday abroad yep. or uh, it's like caravan parks and that sort of thing around the uk um, but now we're sort of into august well we could start picking up but uh, yeah it's not that busy quiet. maybe that is why you know they reduced the hours to five originally it was going to be six o'clock for all these days and then a few weeks ago they did change the hours um to five so yeah it does make me think that uh, maybe that's why because like looking around these uh, core pathways it's not that busy at all love this heritage soundtrack around here i did use this in the video that we did a few weeks ago from the new garden and house tour so make sure you check that out if you haven't already seen it on the channel nice and relaxing piece of music Beautiful. <laughs> well here we are the first of august and still no further updates on Hex, the legend of the towers. This iconic attraction that's been here for 24 years at Alton Towers, of course, telling the story of the chained oak and the history. And uh, yeah, it's still closed. And you know what? I appreciate that Alton Towers have been trying to get this back open, but it's been having issues for the best part of two, three years now, on and off. Um, in that time, they could have really just replaced it, put a brand new version in. And uh, yeah, here we are. It's the 1st of August and still not open, sadly. I miss Hex so, so much, but I feel like the hype's just completely died off now. Like this would been the perfect time to open it during the school holidays and it's still closed. Yeah, it's one of them things. Obviously, Alton Towers really hyped it up at the start of the season with the video, like, back for this year, Hex. We all thought, oh, here we go. Uh, it's going to be ready for the start of the season. Then it wasn't. I thought, oh, maybe, you know, May half term or something. Now the summer holidays, but still nothing on Hex. And uh, obviously, we know they've done changes to the lighting and uh, audio enhancements and that sort of thing. Looks like some changes to the first pre-show. Um, but, you know, it's the ride system itself. That's what the money needed spending on. That's where the work uh, needs needed to be done and we know that work has been done on the ride system um, but you know is it enough or is it too little too late really in my opinion the attraction should have had just a complete overhaul from the start it kind of feels like they've been uh, you know putting it off and putting it off and they're finally trying to sort it but still don't know when it's going to open and in a part that uh, you know has got quite poor ride availability at the moment they really need to get that sorted out I tell you what though even just not really going on many rides just walking around the park is lovely on a day like this where you certainly you realise when you come back to this park 
like how much there's just a lack of rides here at the moment like you walk around like you've got things closed you just got a lack of rides don't you just need more rides like you end up walking around it's just queue after queue after queue they just need some more filler rides yeah that's the thing you know it's like yeah it's just not great is it at the moment still not back on top four molten towers don't get me wrong it's better this year than uh, last year but uh, we're still at that point where you know the park just still feels flat at the moment you know and of course all the landscaping always looks the part alton towers this is my favorite tree in the whole of the park just here i just quite like the, the shape of that tree it's great isn't it <laughs> oh. right let's head down to another update another closed attraction this one but this is one that i'm quite thankful has closed to be honest it's the alton towers dungeon now we did film a full Scarefest update just a few weeks ago on the channel, however at that time the dungeon had only just closed, uh, but here you can see the signage has now been removed. This has literally happened over the past few days, and um, the big dungeon sign's gone, and of course it's freed up quite a large space there on the facade for maybe some new signage or whatever's going to be happening with this attraction. Like I say, surely we're days or if not weeks away from finding out more about Scarefest this year. Normally in August they like to get the tickets on sale for the Scare Mazes, so I don't think it'll be too long at all before we find out um, but obviously this attraction is being completely reimagined for Scarefest and we're going to find out what it's going to be like so yeah I'm excited to see this one. I'm really interested to see what they do with this one because the space inside is quite big they've got a lot of room to work with so I'm looking forward to seeing what theme and how it's going to look. Are they going to utilize the ride system or not you know like yeah. There's a big space in there to use. Yeah there is a lot of space and it all depends as well if Trick or Treat Town comes back so obviously that was in the left hand part of the building obviously this used to be Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Trick or Treat Town was built in the area where the lifts used to be, the Great Glass Elevator. So there's potential that they could be using all that space, or there could still be a family attraction in half, and something a bit more thrilling in the other half. Or this could be one big family attraction. You know, we don't even know if this is actually going to be a full scare maze yet. This could be the family edition. We don't know. Until it gets announced, we do not know. It could be a massive version of Trick or Treat Town. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> like we, we don't know at this moment in time. But uh, there you go. All the updates for you today. Let's uh, talk a little bit about Project Horizon shall we as well so this is the uh, new indoor ride um, that we've not really heard anything about all year there's been nothing really happening obviously this according to the plan application is where you would walk down to this new area of the park um, with a brand new potentially indoor roller coaster um, yeah literally there'd be a clearing here in the trees and you'd be walking straight back there to it there's been no updates on this at all I know for a fact from some of our sources that no uh, clearance work or anything like that has started yet um, down the back there um, so it's quite interesting interesting really with Project Horizon obviously initially it was planned for 2025 based on the plan application um, but it seems like that's been pushed back now to maybe 2026 or has the project been cancelled we don't know I mean I highly doubt it um, Alton Towers did well to get the permission for such a large building so I do think that we're going to see that happen um, it's just more a matter of when or maybe the contents of what was going to be built in that show building may have changed but yeah we'll see what happens with that one but no updates at the moment on Project Horizon. Just wanted to walk around and just talk about all these little projects and little things going on at the moment because there's a lot happening at the park. Up into the world of David Wallios. Flavio's fabulous Fandango. Nice little sizzler ride. So obviously there was four temporary rides in total throughout the park. This is the only one left. But to be honest, I don't mind this so much. It fits in really nice, like uh, with the theme, all the uh, work that they did with the mirror balls around the side. It looks the part, this one. It's fun, it's funky. It fits in the area. Mandango! Still think this area, you know, hasn't got a long-term future here. But it'd be interesting to see, you know, what does happen in the coming years. I don't know how long the contract was on Gangster Granny and David Walliams. You know, five years, ten years, I'm not too sure, but... It's one of them. It's never really had much popularity this since it opened, to be honest. I mean, your initial few weeks with it being like the new dark ride, Gangster Granny the ride, it had quite a big queue, but since then, to be honest... Is rarely out the door just there now. So it's a nice little area, and it's got you know quite a few rides in it as well, a few flat rides. Something that I always love at this time of year, I like all the hanging baskets around the park, always looks really nice and pretty. Well, they did 
and of course the Cuckoo Cars driving school down here as well. Nice day for it. I was going to say the birds are tweeting, but that's just the sound effects that is. <laughs> Yeah, aren't they nice? All the flowers. Gardening team do a really good job. Considering they're a small team, you know, they do a good job when it comes to like putting all the planting around and just making it look pretty, really, in these different areas. Oh, I tell you what, there's nothing nicer than sitting here in the beautiful sunshine on Fountain Square, enjoying some lovely grapes just here. Oh, beautiful. How have you been finding the food this year at Alton Towers? I'd love to know. Comment down below on this vlog and let us know. Obviously, we did our annual food tour earlier in the year, second year, where the food's been run by an external company called Aramark. Obviously, I know a lot of you have uh, been trying different food here this year, different experiences, so I'd love to know down below in the video comments. And obviously, that helps a lot of people who are visiting as well. Us, though, we normally bring our trusty pat lunch, don't we now? You see a lot more people bringing pat lunches now. I think because of the price of the food, like a lot of people are thinking, well, I'm out to just go and buy my own food. And then Lisa said you can eat throughout the day. There's nothing better than a cheese roll. It's nice. Nice. I think if the park was open later as well, we would be more inclined to, to buy more food here. But when it shuts at five... Well, I'll be having my two too. Exactly. Like, I'll just go Weatherspoons yeah. or people would grab like a McDonald's or something on the way back, you know. So, oh, I like these. Got some nice angel slices. To lose out on so much money closing at five o'clock because people are just going to go and eat elsewhere for the tea. They're not going to buy a meal in because it shuts at five. That's the thing. Yeah, it does make me wonder with the five o'clock. Because obviously it's not all the holiday. It's just these initial... You know, it's initial first week. I mean, it's still busy enough to warrant a, a later close than five. But yeah, in terms of food, just let me know. I'd be interested to know your thoughts because to be honest, we've barely bought any food here this year. Oh, that lunch was absolutely delicious. Really enjoyed that. Sitting there catching some rays. Make the most of this nice weather whilst we still got it. Uh, now, of course, the Sky Ride's been closed uh, all of last year and still throughout 2024. Fingers crossed it's going to be back open for 2025. Obviously, the park are doing quite a lot of work on it at the moment. And uh, some days when you're here, you may see them up there um, working on the different towers uh, that make up this attraction. So, yeah, it's good to know that work is ongoing to bring this back for 2025. Obviously a massive multi-million pound project for the park. Obviously it got into quite a state of disrepair. Uh, luckily all the stations are looking really nice and fresh and they were done up, uh, ready for when it does reopen. Um, yeah, just fingers crossed that that's still gonna be on track for uh, opening next year, I really hope so. I wouldn't want a third year here without the sky ride. There goes Rita, I'm 13. So yeah, we'll make our way into Dark Forest, have a look at the queue times and see what's going on down in the forests. Busy down here in Dark Forest. And have a look at the queue time for both of these coasters. Well, not too bad for the front row, Rita, though, is it? Obviously, you queue up to this point and then you can split off for the front row just there and head up the stairs. Yeah, it's only about four trains worth for the front. Always think of these launch coasters. It's worth waiting for the front. Just to be like a bit more exposed to the forces. And you just feel like, the, you know, you get the speed a lot more on the front. Even on Rita, you know, 60 miles an hour, but especially on like Stealth and some of the other big launch coasters, you know, you really feel it when you're on the front row even more. <laughs> 60 minutes for Rita as we head under through the scaffolding at Dark Forest just here. <laughs> Still wish they'd have sorted this out a bit more permanent down here instead of just all the scaffolding. And I know it's part of the theme, you know, with all the work going on on the front of 13 and the scaffolding, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the look. I think Dark Forest is looking really tired, actually. Time for an update at some point. Yeah, 60 minutes. Rita. Rita going just overhead there. 50 minutes, 4.13 down here. 14 years old. And whilst we're down here in Dark Forest, we thought we'd have a bit of an update on one of the new Scare Maze locations. Now, still not too sure if this is going to be ready in time for Scarefest this year or not. I mean, it's clear that they're hoping to. Uh, they've been moving very fast on this, um, but still, there's a lot of work to be done here. You've got to put the uh, tent there in the middle and, of course, then kit out all the AV, all the tech to make a Scare Maze, put all the theming in as well. So I'm not too sure if this will be ready or not for this year. I mean, I'm hoping that it is. Uh, the other ones progressed, you know, a lot more, but that did start um, with the construction earlier than this one. 
one. Uh, but still, literally the past couple of days, the containers have started to go into place now down on the side. The foundation was completed like last week. So really, all they've got to do now is put like the tent over the middle because that's how these work, these new permanent locations. You've got the containers down both sides and there's like a permanent tent structure that goes across the middle and obviously the block in the side. So um, yeah, quite a big space. You know, I'm hoping that this is going to be ready, but obviously they still haven't like announced anything for Scarefest this year yet. Uh, maybe that's why the announcement is a bit later because they're still not too sure you know is this going to be ready or they're going to have to open you know something existing like the attic which would it have come back or not i'm not too sure i mean it's still set up maybe that's left to set up at the moment to bring it back if this isn't ready we don't know at this moment in time uh, but still this is progressing uh, quite well which is uh, good to see but yeah lots of updates for scarefest let's have a little look over the fence just here see what we can see there we go a bit of a look at all that work just there Something that's always made Alton Towers really special is the location. Gardens are looking beautiful at this time of year. And we did film that full garden and house tour just a few weeks ago. Fantastic, really nice experience. Like the tour guide was amazing. And uh, it was lovely just having to walk around the house again and going up onto the roof, seeing the rides, like the Smiler and Oblivion from up there on the top. Uh, you can even see like Big Bob peeking through as well over at Wicker Man from up there. And um, so check out that vlog. If you haven't already seen it, well, yeah, we're going to stroll down towards Wicker Man now and obviously have a look what's uh, happening there. Pagoda Fountain just down the bottom as well. Beautiful. It's that rare time of the year when Battle Galleons has more than a zero minute queue. Look at that, queuing up the stairs just there and up onto the castle at the top. Battle Galleons, the part's 2008 Mack Ride Splash Battle. Very well themed and underrated attraction. And it really doesn't get that much of a queue, obviously mainly because of the climate here in the UK. There you go, Battle Galleons. Ash. Before you ask, Sean, no, I do not <laughs> want to go on Battle Galleons. Are you sure? Can kind of if you want. No, oh, no, you don't want to be all right if you stand back here. His gun looks pretty good though. I don't think he can reach us though. <laughs> no, nah, we're all right. Yeah, Battle Galleons. It's a nice attraction though. In fact, I have a bit of a walk up the queue line actually, get a few shots. I don't normally film that much of battle. Yeah, I won't go on it, but we'll have a walk up the queue and just get a few shots. It's quite nice actually upon this bridge. The theming of this ride is actually really underrated. Put like these new covers up for the staff this year as well, which is really good. Stop the staff getting soaked. Yeah, it's really nicely themed this. Good soundtrack as well. Quite atmospheric and with the seagulls. There you go, you get some really good views from up here. So even if you don't fancy going on, it's worth coming up just to get some nice shots. Good look out over the lake. Comment down below if you remember the uh, swan boats that used to be here. Remember riding them as a kid and then they got took out. And then a ride called Splash Cart Challenge was put in. But that was an upcharge, so it never really got that busy. It was run by uh, HP Leisure, the people that run the games. Big cannons. It's quite a nice little touch on the cannons, look. 2008. Opening year. Yeah, it's quite a nice day for Battle Galleons. I should have brought some spare clothes up, to be fair. That's what I've gone on. <laughs> what is it, like 25 degrees today? It's nice. But yeah, we just checked the opening hours. Today is the last one of the uh, five o'clock closes. It is six o'clock then for the rest of the holidays. That's if they don't change it. Yeah, you got the big galleon just here. It's nice. Lots of scenery all around the middle. Battle Galleons here at Alton Towers Resort. Got a queue. A rare sight to see. I love the interaction. He's loving it down there. <laughs> this shark just keeps swimming round. I don't know what he's looking for, but he keeps swimming. <laughs> Little things like that, though, that I really like. And Battle Galleys, as much as it doesn't really get much use throughout the year, it is, you know, nice at this time of year. It looks the part. You might be thinking, oh, it's all horrible lake water, but actually it goes through like a filter system. So you see like the bucket on the top of all the boats when it um, parks up there in the station. 
they've actually got like this little bit that connects onto the top and then it puts the fresh filter water down into the uh, into the boat and then obviously it stores it underneath so yeah it's actually all clean water that is being used all filtered doesn't look like it at first but blimey they're getting soaked it's because of these guns yeah. here they, go, they do really well these ones and these are the pay ones yeah, here are they yeah the so you, you got some free ones then you got some pay ones <laughs> And here we are then, round to Wickerman. Now last week there was a small fire that happened on Wickerman and uh, there was a lot of posts that were being shared on social media, no one really knew what was happening. Uh, the park then put a statement out saying that a foreign object um, caused the fire. Uh, and obviously since then, uh, the ride has remained closed. And a few days ago, scaffolding was erected on this uh, turnaround section just over here. As you can see, Wickerman, it's all closed, scaffolding up. It's like uh, going back to when the ride was being built. So yeah, it's closed for essential maintenance at the moment. Yeah, you can see down there all the uh, all the scaffolding, it's all been covered in along the top. So I'm not too sure when it's gonna be back open or not. Obviously a lot of people have been saying, oh, you know, when's it gonna be back up? Well, Wicker Man still closed at the moment here at Alton Towers. If you do want to pick up some Wickerman merchandise though, the shop is still open just down here as well. You can access the area and uh, look out over the ride. Yeah, there's another look at the scaffolding round on this side. So even though it was a foreign object, obviously whatever has happened must have been quite major for it to uh, yeah, require the scaffolding to go up just around there. Obviously they've blocked it all in whilst they're working on what looks like the track. I don't think it's the support structure. So obviously we're right at the top on the track itself. So there's been all sorts of rumors about what's caused it. Um, but obviously, yeah, there's something uh, pretty major that's uh, happened with that just there. But obviously safety is always paramount. The ride's been closed since. There was no injuries or anything like that, um, which is good. And we'll see when it reopens. Obviously we'll keep you updated here on Theme Park Worldwide. But uh, yes, give us a follow on social media. and We'll always keep you updated with uh, when rides are back open and what's going on. But uh, yeah, no Wicker Man, bit of a shame for in the summer holidays, but it is what it is, safety's paramount, you know. It is, but it is such a shame. Like people have come for the school holidays and the major ride, Wicker Man's closed. Hopefully they'll get it back open soon. Yeah, it's not really a great day here today, to be honest, for ride availability. Uh, like we've picked a, a day to come back after our trip. Obviously the five o'clock close, which we knew about before. And that's the reason why we wanted to come today, just to see how busy it was for a five o'clock close. But then also along with that as well, obviously you've got the fact that the smile has been closed, there's been quite a bit of downtime, Spinball was having issues earlier on. Yeah, I just don't know what's going on with ride availability at the moment. I really just hope they can get it sorted out. Ride availability this year seems the worst that, I mean, I've ever seen it in the years of coming to Alton Towers. Still, let's have a walk up through Katanga Canyon. These plants have grown a lot, it's blocked, blocked the waterfall. Wicker man. Feed the flames, quite literally. Having a little walk underneath Wicker Man here, there's another view looking out towards the scaffolding just up there. Yeah, if you are visiting over the next few days, I'd probably say it's going to be remaining closed. I mean, the fact that, you know, the scaffolding's up there, that's going to take a bit of time to come down. That's after they've finished whatever the issue is there on the track. And then obviously they've got to do the testing as well. So yeah, I think it's going to be shut for at least another few days. Could be longer than that. I mean, who knows? That is just pure speculation, but common sense, isn't it really? When you see scaffolding on something like that, that it's going to be shut for uh, quite some time. Yeah, it's a shame, Wicker Man. Big Bob. It's actually really weird walking down this pathway and not hearing the lift hill and the screams and the creaking of the wooden structure. Yeah, it's really weird. It's like before Wicker Man was built, you know, but uh, yeah, I do miss it. It's a fantastic ride. I'm uh, you know, looking forward to it being back open again uh, so we can get some more rides on it because it is one of the most popular rides here at Alton Towers. And I'd still say that it's the best investment to this park since Nemesis opened originally back in 1994. I mean, everybody loves Wicker Man. It's a great ride especially at night at Scarefest, Oktoberfest coming up as well from next month. You know, hopefully it won't be down for uh, too long. Quite a big queue for the Congo River Rapids, but uh, quite a lot of empty boats going round, I've noticed there. That's like three in a row, and here comes a fourth one. Must be having some uh, technical issues. I tell you what, these rides have a lot of downtime at the moment here. I really hope they can get uh, ride availability sorted out. There goes the monorail. Make our way down to Gloomy Wood. We'll do the main pathway down Katanga Canyon. Have a look at Runaway Mine Train and stuff later on once we've been down here into Gloomy Wood and Forbidden Valley. Let's go and pay a visit to Emily Alton, shall we? The Kurt Alton Manor. Five minute wait. You can always rely on quite a short queue for Alton Manor. And that isn't because people don't enjoy it, it's just a really high capacity attraction, you know. 
It's got that extra seat as well since it was Joel. I've always liked this little touch here, coming into the queue line and like all the bricks. It's like the wall's just <laughs> gone away. <laughs> I've not seen this smoke working for a while though now, down in here. It was quite a reliable effect last year, but obviously they've got like a funnel that runs around here with all the smoke in. You can just see the funnel there. And they've got like a smoke machine at one end and then it pumps through. I'm sure you'll agree, despite the dilapidated condition, the manor is a wonderful investment for the children. This manor house listing includes an abundance of land, perfect for a small family, tucked away from the noise of the city, quiet and mostly undisturbed. <laughs> Turning of a new year. However, on the final time of the year, the manor appeared to be struck by a storm of supernatural proportions. All known occupants of the house perished. That is, aside from the owner's open child, Emily. Oh, it's a great pre-show, isn't it? So atmospheric. For a fantastic ride. Love this soundtrack as well. A very enjoyable ride there on the curse at Old Manor. Fantastic track dart ride, lots going on on there. I love that ride, it is so re rideable. The smells in there were fantastic today, and they did such a good job with the scenes. It's so immersive in there. Oh, it is wonderful. I love it. The effects have been quite reliable actually most of the time, but today the trommel wasn't working, was I know, it? No, we came around the corner and was like, no, it's not working. <laughs> but still, I'm sure it'll be uh, back in action soon. I know I've got another Scarefest update for you now. Let's go and have a little look up here. We did mention this a few weeks ago in our Scarefest update video that we did, but one of the new attractions is going to be located just down here. So let's go and uh, have a little peek and see uh, what we can see. Obviously, you no know, a lot of work started inside now. So I mentioned earlier on when we were down by the Dark Forest one, um, that obviously you've got the shipping containers at the side, and then you've got like a tent structure which will be going up through the middle. Obviously, you can see that in place already on this one. If we have a little look. There we go. So you can see you've got the tent structure there in the middle with the containers on the side. And here you can see they've now cut a hole in the side of that one just there. So obviously that looks like it's gonna be the way in or the way out or the queue line here. Looks like that's been marked off for some landscaping or maybe extending the floor in there. Not too sure. Well, yeah, it gives you a bit of an idea on the size of these, doesn't it? Really excited to see what theme they're gonna go for here. Actually, it looks like a bit more excavation started here, doesn't it? I reckon they're building some more queue line for this I reckon yeah so maybe you're gonna go up this way and then there'll be some more queue off to the left because all this started to be cleared now as well but uh, yeah it's good because it's all hidden away down the back here doesn't take away from the themed areas or anything like that so it's exciting hopefully it won't be too long until we find out what uh, what this is going to be themed to can you see that Charlotte yeah, I can just see just that. about <laughs> that's really quite tall yeah a good view from on the rocks looking out but so uh, yeah you get a bit of an idea even here look like there you go so yeah you can see like what they've done there in the middle and obviously that'll be tarmac or block paves and it's going to connect up right down the bottom just over here but yeah it's going to be a big maze experimentation a tactical security innovation our primary welcome to forbidden valley of extraordinary organisms and chemical compounds coming with the development of advanced oh it's so atmospheric walking up into it Love the remastered soundtrack as well. Oh, bit of work going on on the uh, signage just there. <laughs> Nemesis Subterra, 45 minutes. Long queue that is. I've always said my cutoff for Subterra is about 30 minutes, I think it's yeah, worth. I'd say so, 45. 
Absolutely not. No, you start waiting like longer than 30 minutes. I don't think it's worth that. It's a great experience, but yeah, it's not worth that. Big chopper. Oh, I just love the park though. Definitely the best area of the park when you come up into it now. Nemesis Reborn, so down to the Nemesis Containment Zone. Have you been on it yet this year? Let us know in the video comments. I'm sure a lot of you have though now. I mean, what we are in August, aren't we now? So yeah, back in March. It's gone so fast this season. All they're new, it's got some covers up there in the uh, queue line for Subterra. Yeah, some posts. Is that, yeah, you reckon that's for a cover or is that for some lighting maybe? I don't know. I'd like to hope it's a cover because it's quite a, if it's raining, it gets soaked. It yeah, maybe. Fun. Or is it just going to be more lighting poles like this possibly? Because I think before the lighting was on these ones on the side. So yeah, maybe that's going to be some more of the uh, lighting. But still, you know, having these festoon lights is a lot better than uh, what it was. That's a big improvement they've been doing the past kind of 12 months, improving the lighting. Minutes. Not too bad at all, 25. And that's the thing, a lot of people head here on the morning. I think it was on 50 actually earlier. 25 for Reborn. Oh, we haven't got to walk all the way around there either. As much as it is quite nice walking around that bit. I much prefer it when we can just come up this way. Oh yeah, it's alright that for Nemesis. No matter where we travel around the world, you know, I always look forward to coming back on Nemesis here at the local. Nice effect this is because you get the sound from the cannon and it's like it's shooting it as it comes down. Little touches like that go a long way. Beautiful. I'm glad they've kept that smoke topped up there as well. It looks amazing. I'm a huge fan of this remastered soundtrack. I'm not going to lie, I was a bit worried, didn't I, when we thought they were changing the soundtrack. Because I did love the power of the original, uh, but I just love this remastered version. I think it's great. Like, fantastic. I say remastered, it's always well, practically a brand new soundtrack, but it's still got the original bits in there. You know, it's fantastic. It's still got that iconic tune for Nemesis that we all know and love. To be honest, I don't even think this is 25 minutes, literally. We're going straight down towards the uh, the pre-show area where that piece of track is. Ideal, really. Operations seem good. I always just get so excited getting back on Demi. Beautiful ride. Monarch lies for control. Could do with a bit of de-weeding round here now. Of here. <laughs> Some massive Spread weeds all around here. Seek the truth. Moving nice and fast though. That throughput on Nemesis. Beautiful. Is under watching Nemesis Reborn from up here in the queue line. You get some great shots. And yeah, you can see the crane just over there, the Project Ocean site as well. So we'll bring you some updates on that when we come off Nemesis and we'll head down there and have a look at Project Ocean and what's going on. You get an idea though from over here just how high that's going to look. You can just make out the concrete base down there at the bottom. Obviously it's going to sit right up there, you know, just where the monorail track is. That's like by the base, you know, it's going to look really high when that's in place. Looks like work slowed down quite a bit though now. Been waiting about 15 minutes so far, Q's been moving at a great pace. What a 
beauty. Love all this detailing that they did on the fake track just coming down here from the legs as well. It's like all the details that were added to it. them smells earlier on at the curse at Old Manor. Smells are good in here today as well. I like how they keep them topped up. Just really adds to the theme and the atmosphere, doesn't it? Lovely. Right, we'll see when we come off. Nemesis Reborn. ride there we've just had on Nemesis Reborn. It's the character that just keeps on giving. Like I love Nemesis so much. And it's riding beautifully. Like it was so intense that was. It is riding so well. I actually think it feels more intense than original Nemesis did. I agree. Like I've had thousands of rides on Nemesis over the years. I'm so pleased that this retract didn't lose any of that intensity. Like we say it feels oh, more intense than it was before. Absolutely fantastic. Especially down there at the back row. I mean Nemesis beautiful wherever you sit. Uh, but down there at the back that was just so impressive like every time we come on it after we've been away for a few weeks I sit on it again and think you know what that is an absolutely awesome ride I never forget that but I think when you go and ride other things around the world and see things you always come back here to Alton Towers and ride Nemesis and it's just a thing of beauty isn't it I like, always get so excited to get back on Nemesis because it is a fantastic ride the one thing I do wish there was a front row queue because I do love a front row ride on Nemesis yeah it'd be nice if there was the option again to have a front row there might be enough space even though they put some theming at the side um, to create a small front row queue again because a lot of people do miss that uh, but still back row is still like the best seat on there in my opinion but uh, what an absolute beauty nemesis reborn back better than ever in 2024 just with a bit of a rattle right then let's talk a bit about project ocean as we can see the steve foster crane is up just over here we've got them concrete bases that are completed on either side now and the main flat base still to go in across the middle yeah it seems like work slowed down quite a bit heavily expecting this to be the 2025 edition now i know there was a lot of talk originally that oh could this be ready maybe for summer or later this year but i think now it was more a matter of just getting the base in and then we'll see the ride system arrive probably before the end of the season um but yeah it seems like it's slowed down quite a bit now but uh, we'll start off down here on the right hand side let's go and have a look and then we'll uh, have a little peek around to the left. Right then, as we can see from up here on the pathway, you've got the two main concrete sections that are completed. So you've got the one there on the left and there's one on the right behind the tree. You've then got two smaller ones. So you can just see that's the one on the left just there, but there's also the same mirrored on the other side. And then obviously there's gonna be the main platform that sits on top of that and goes across the middle. It looks like maybe they're building that lower down there and then it's going to be lifted up into place or it seems that way i reckon that's what we can see happening with the construction workers there and then of course once that's built and all the concrete's kind of set that will then be lifted further up into place or at least that's what i can get from here anyway i'm not a construction expert but uh what we're looking at i think that's the case but uh, no matter what this is going to be huge like it's going to sit on the top there like i say heavily rumored to be that uh, return of a hus top spin here to alton towers but a suspended model um so we'll see what happens but yeah i think this is, is more than likely going to be for next year now but uh initially we we're thinking oh they were moving so fast um but obviously you know it, it, there's no rush with these sort of things it takes its time doesn't it and uh yeah hopefully it'll be ready for the start of next season i mean we might get surprised with an earlier opening but i think it's looking doubtful at this stage and just around the other side here now of the project ocean construction site yeah from here you can see the concrete foundations there and then obviously you've got the main section that will go across the middle yeah it looks like they're building that up there lower down and they're going to lift it up into place i reckon that's uh, what we can see happening here so yeah that'll be a good day try and be here for it but obviously you never know when uh, that sort of stuff's going to happen but uh, yeah it's you know it's going to be nice to see it raise up a little bit higher than the construction fence so we can get some better views obviously when the uh, main ride starts to arrive and there's another look at the crane just here and yeah you can see the concrete foundations there on the right hand side yeah, as always we'll keep you updated with the latest work taking place roller coaster restaurant over there 
Anybody been to the roller coaster restaurant lately? It's always a good experience. We went earlier this year, we filmed a vlog, and we had a good time in there. Yeah, the food was good, the overall experience was really nice. Yeah, we definitely recommend it. Obviously, it's one of the more pricey options here at Alton Towers, but I think it's worth it for the overall kind of experience that um, you can get in there. Galactica! What's this queue on? Let's go and have a look. 25 minutes. 25? Oh, that's not bad. Maybe that's why the park is closing at 5. Oh, 35. Maybe that's why we have got a 5 o'clock close. I mean, I still don't think that's justified for the summer holidays. But still. 35 isn't too bad at all. And here's a look at Blade just before we leave Forbidden Valley and have a walk down through Katanga Canyon. Yeah, I'm hoping the new flat ride has a similar colour scheme to this. Yellow, black and some grey mixed in there as well. Yeah, they did a good job with the repaint on this. Looks nice. The Blade. And just one more update before we leave Forbidden Valley. I literally said to Charlotte, is that an air conditioning unit in there? Literally, there's an aircon unit in the window and then they've opened the door a little bit. There you go, and you see you got like the pipe coming out the side. Maybe it's just been getting too hot in there. How fun is that? <laughs> you could do with paint and black though. Or well, maybe they'll take it out when it's not as hot. Is that an elephant? <laughs> Nice afternoon here on the Congo. Bum, bum, bum. Run away mine train just there on the Congo over Rapids. Have a look at both the queue times. And obviously with these two rides, they don't have queue boards out the front, so you just got to look on the app for the queue times. Yeah, Renault Mine train 25 minutes, Congo River Rapids on 30. So yeah, not too bad. I'd say they're both worth the wait, especially with them being family attractions down here. Pizza and pasta, and normally get the nice smell, don't you? Pizza when you walk past, can't smell it today. smell it all today with pizza and pasta. It normally makes my mouth water because it's that tasty. I didn't know if it was just me, but oh, I can't smell, I can't smell it at all. That's really weird, isn't it? Maybe they're not cooking as much because people are bringing packed lunches. Down here now into Mutiny Bay. Don't forget, you've always got Shark Bay Reef, the Sea Life Centre, that you can have a walk through as well. And yeah, we're going to have a little look down through CBB's land, especially with it being the 10th year celebration. We'll have a look in Towers Trade in as well. Yeah, the smile is still closed. Been lots of downtime throughout today. I just hope it's something they can get sorted out. You know, it never used to be this much downtime. Just before we head into CBB's land, just thought we'd have another look at the 10 year celebration going on here on the lawn. Just a bit of a closer look at it. 
you got all the seating down here and yeah there's a show on in like 40 minutes so it's a bit quieter at the moment we thought we'd better do some filming around here whilst there's not a show on just to kind of show you what's going on so you can hear us a bit better as well here you got all the seating around here some photo opportunities it's nice like, it's a good setup obviously it's just aimed at the kids and that's my one negative with this really is the fact that yeah the past couple of summers there's been shows for like the whole family to enjoy on here like with Alton Bear and the characters last year we had like the Alton Bear uh, character dance show and stuff which was just good family fun whereas really there's no entertainment in the park at all aimed at like all the families and adults but you know it's nice that there is still something down here um, but yeah I do miss just last summer we'd sit here and watch a show obviously this is designed for our target audience so i think it'd be nice you know to see cbb's back in the land and hopefully next year a proper stage show again on here you know the thing i can understand is this was ready for may half term and i feel like a show should have come in for summer that's catered for everybody yeah like sean said we can't watch this because it's not based for our target audience it'd be nice for something like that old bear show it was brilliant like Alton bear yeah going like, party dances it's just a shame that there's no shows for all the family to watch yeah i mean for us we spent quite a lot of time last summer on the lawns here you know and i get that you know it's a 10 year celebration but yeah it'd be nice still to have a show for the older kids the you know older families teenagers and just adults in general that's the thing when they used to have the ice show here years ago it was something for everyone one, wasn't it but uh, yeah it's still a nice little setup that they've done down here though I think it looks better without the white tent there in the middle and um, I wasn't a big fan about that block the view of the towers but I can understand why it was there because of the rain earlier in the year you know and it rained quite a lot during May also so they probably got the money's worth out of that <laughs> But yeah, next event down here will be Oktoberfest, and that, of course that's coming up in September. So we're going to be uh, covering that. We'll be here for Oktoberfest. We're going to have a little walk through the land. This is a, a big positive of having this. They've actually got both entrances into CBeebies open, so it's not just the top one. They've got this one open down here as well, which is a lot better, actually. Wish it was open all the time just to walk through. It's a lot better. Let's have a look at some of your queue times then in CBeebies land for if you are going to be visiting. Give you a bit of an idea. 40 minutes for get set go treetop adventure the old screw and nutty as it used to be da, 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 da. banana <laughs> 25 minute wait for the octonauts roller coaster adventure this afternoon yeah it's not too bad little junior coaster watch out for the whale is he gonna squirt today hey what a squirter So even though you've got the additional entertainment for 10 years of CBeebies land out there on the lawns, you have still got the entertainment here in a big fun showtime as well if you're coming over summer. Hey Dougie live, Teletubbies live, Bing live and also Bluey live as well. God, I was expecting big fun showtime to be really busy around here because even like in between shows it's normally uh, busy. It's normally but, absolutely yeah. packed in it, but it didn't seem that busy at all. Maybe people are waiting on the lawn for the main show. I don't know though, because there wasn't any there when we walked past either. Very it, straight. It seems really like quiet CBB's line for summer holidays. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Post and Pat, I'm sure it says five minutes up there. Let's go yeah, and have a look. Let's meet them together. Let's wait together. Is CBB's losing its popularity or something? I'm not too sure, but this is really weird to see it so quiet. It's like middle of the afternoon, weather's nice. Yeah, five minutes for Postman Pat. Special delivery service. There's Mrs. Goggins. It's really nice, but uh, on this wall, if you go on the right, there's a lovely picture of the Alton Towers ruins. It's literally on this wall around here. You can't see it from off ride, but for a little fact for you. I was purposely trying to look for it there, and then you were like, Yeah, you, can't you see won't it. see it unless you're on. It's on, the, it's on this side. Five minutes for Bugby Go Round. Obviously, you've got that new sensory space over there as well. Nice quiet space. In the night garden. What's that on? That's normally a good test. It's either 25 or 35. I can't tell from it. 35. It looks like 15, that. It is 15. You need some glasses. Yeah. <laughs> it's either 25 or 35. No, it's, it's neither. 15. There was a five in there, I guess. Five minutes for Justin's house as well. Blind it. It's quiet. No, God, you know it's quiet when uh, in the night garden. It's only on 15 minutes, one five. And five minutes, wait just here for Peter Rabbit, Hibberty Hop. <laughs> Is that quiet? They're only running one? I do like that photo op. 
Blimey, I'm really shocked how quiet it is around here. Yeah, it's not like everyone is on the lawns, just literally that's where we were before coming into the land. And let's look over at Gojet, it says 10 minutes on the board, but as you can see it's walk-on just over there for the Vroomster Zoom ride. Fairchester Hotel, little puppet show in there. And there we go, it's a little walk around CBeebies land. I think we're going to uh, head up to Towers Trading now and go and have a little look and see if there's any new merchandise. I mean, we did our full merch tour as always at the start of the year, but they tend to add a little bit, so we've not been in for a few weeks, so we're going to have a look, see what there is. But yeah, I don't know, is popularity dying off? I don't know, any parents watching? Comment down below. Is CBB still big or, I don't know, it just seems really strange, or is it just an off day? Lovely and peaceful on Tower Street in the middle of the afternoon. Hot dogs over there, £9.50, no queue, there we go. Every time I see it, it's got no queue now. Too expensive. Charlotte's looking to see if the price have gone up. Checking in case it's gone up again. <laughs> it's still £9.50. I'm sure by Scarefest they'll go up. We normally have an increase on them by later in the year. Let's go, Towers Trading. Merchandise is on point this year. There's some really good stuff. Nice time to come and walk around here whilst it's so quiet. As we come towards the end of our full park walk round. It does, it's not the actual sweets though. No, Smell pods that, that. Smell pods. It, gets you in, <laughs> it, it does. And here we are then. Inside Towers Trading. These are new, set of Christmas baubles. So we've got the Smiler 13, Alton Towers Christmas and Wicker Man. Yeah, they're quite nice, glittery. Yeah, very glittery. You have an Alton Towers tree. Like, yeah, I think they're quite good. Interesting how they've put those in. I'm hoping that the Christmas offering is going to be a lot better this year because obviously it was a lot weaker last year. So yeah, fingers crossed. For a bit more, so I got the colouring books I in as well. Got this, I need to finish it off. <laughs> <laughs> Buy one, get one half price on your summer sizzler drinkware. Oh, uh, that's pretty good, isn't it? Good deal. Got quite a few deals on in Towers Trading at the moment. Summer sizzlers, football. £12.60, not bad at all, that. Was £18. Pounds. Of course, you got all your rye related stuff around here, all your resins, t shirts. Yeah, some quite a few deals around just here. Yeah, and all the drinkware, so all your mugs and stuff as well. What have we got here then, Charlotte? This is also new. This is the wooden tumbling tower, but it's also on sale, so it's only £8.40. Yeah, it was £12. Yeah, quite it's interesting. It's like Jenga, isn't it? Yeah, and then you've got like, all the different ride logos on there. Yeah, that's pretty decent. And if you are a fellow mug collector like myself, good time really to get these buy one get one half price it does say though down at the bottom excludes other discounts so i don't think you'd be able to get your annual pass discount on there which is a shame but i guess they are discounted anyway on all your drinkware summer sizzlers and there's a look at the merchandise in towers trading but there we go that brings to the end of our visit here to alton towers we're not going to wrap up the vlog just yet though i thought we'd go on the monorail because we haven't been on it for quite a while it was busy uh, when we we're coming in this morning uh, so i thought we'll get it this afternoon especially with us leaving before park close and uh, yeah we'll jump on the monorail well i think this just summarizes our day at alton towers really like the monorail <laughs> is also closed there we go shut us down it's all closed up i tell you what it's been a bad day for ride availability today all right there we go monorail closed i reckon that could be due to the heat because i remember when i worked here they had to close the monorail when it got too hot inside because obviously it's not got any air conditioning so i reckon that's why but uh there you go that's <laughs> a bad day doesn't it <laughs> it does oh, alton towers resort august 2024 Well, there we go. I was going to get some footage of the monorail, but with it being closed, that brings us to the end of our vlog just here round at the entrance plaza. Um, but you know what? It's been nice in the sunshine having a walk around the park today, hasn't it? Oh, it's been boiling. I've got my leggings on. I wish I'd have put my shorts on. I'm so hot. I think you're underestimating the weather today. <laughs> so warm today. <laughs> well, yeah, lots of updates going on around the park. Lots of exciting things as well with Scarefest preparation. Uh, along with that as well, the new ride under construction down in Forbidden Valley. So lots of positive things going on. Lots to be excited for. But also a few negatives at the moment as well in regards 
regards to ride availability. It's just been so poor at the moment. I'm really hoping that they can look into it. Like looking on the app on the morning, they're not because rides aren't even opening on time. Yeah, they can be. I think one day last week there was like six rides it closed a on a morning. So they really need to look at um, just sorting it's out the issue definitely. with ride availability. Obviously, it's not great today because uh, yeah, as we saw this morning, Spinball was down. That was only temporary, I think. But still, we went to that and that was shut. Then we went down into X Sector. The Smiler was closed. It still is now, and it looks like they're working on the lift still. Mm. So I'm not too sure if that'll be back open this afternoon or another day but obviously it looks quite major they've closed off the toilets around there haven't they now yeah, so you can't go into the top section of the toilets they've got members of staff stood up there i've never seen that before so hopefully they get it back open soon yeah it looks like they're working on the vertical lift and that's why they've got the toilet area closed off underneath uh and then obviously yeah with wicker man being closed at the moment as well scaffolding up on there it's all been blocked in again we're not too sure when it's going to open but common sense says it's going to be at least a few yeah, days definitely. minimum because they've got to do the work then they've got to take the scaffolding down then they'll have to presume they do quite a lot of testing and so it could be shut for a little bit of time so not the best ride availability at the moment the park's still nowhere near what it once was you know uh, but let's just hope that things continue to improve because there have been some improvements i was hoping this year for a bit better ride availability still no sky ride still no hex uh, and lots of other ride downtime as well but uh, if you are coming to the resort have a good time uh, arrive early that's Definitely. still my best top tip arrive early then you can still try and hit out quite a few rides before the crowds and in regards to opening hours this is the last five o'clock based on the website it's six every day for summer now um but still i can actually understand why it's a five today you know i think it's one of them when we got here it was like oh it's shutting at five o'clock like it's so early but when you're actually in the park the queues aren't that bad it doesn't feel that busy so i can understand the five o'clock close yeah we've not really done that many rides today we've only done the curse alton manor and nemesis reborn mainly because we wanted to just get around soak up the sun and just give you the latest updates really um but yeah fingers crossed for some better ride availability soon but uh, there we go up next we're going to be making our way to a park we've not done for quite some time southport pleasure land that's coming up next on the channel we're then at blackpool pleasure beach for late night riding uh, we then got some other trips planned we're going to be at fantasy island next week lots more other things coming up so stay tuned for that here on the channel but here from alton towers that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there and keep, keep on riding, riding. goodbye <laughs>